could you imagine being a portable QRP station, like low power, and having to do this? And then, like, coming over here, and you see all these, like, people have received you all over, yet none of them are replying. And being portable. So I've definitely experienced that before, portable. I had a uh, FT-818ND, basically an 817. And I was operating portable, and I had my little laptop with me, and I had the hotspot on my phone. And I was like, man, I can see that I'm getting out with this portable antenna, but nobody's calling me. Nobody is responding. I'm calling and calling and calling and calling. So it's extremely frustrating and irritating to have that many stations picking you up and not a single reply. Now, when FT8 first started, that never happened. That would not happen. Like, you know, there wasn't this many people on there, and you made a lot more contacts. And you actually really could operate low power. These people either um, are not responding because you're not a favorable DX, or your signal is low, and they don't want to bother with it, or... They're just monitor stations, and they're not actually at the computer, uh, etc. In some of these, you can actually look on here. You'll go here and see. It might say monitor, actually, on some of them. And it'll say what they're using. You can get an idea if it's a monitor station. Some of them will say Kiwi SDR. But if it says Kiwi SDR, you know they're not transmitting. So it's this one. Let's see if we can find one. So here's something I have not seen before. It says using MSHV version 2.71. We'll have to look up the MSHV. Um, I think I saw another one that said that. Using GTDX. They all say the same thing. Using Open Web RX, I can almost guarantee that's a monitor station. Using N1D. QX importer KA9Q radio. Okay. Using CW skimmer 2.1 plus CW reporter. Using CW SL digi. Using CW SL. Um. Using CW SL, whatever that is. Using Web 888. Digi Skimmer Kiwi SDR. Kiwi SDR. Kiwi SDR. Kiwi SDR. N1 DQ importer. I'm just kind of skimming through here, guys. Kiwi SDR. Spark SDR. Spark could transmit. It depends. Open Web RX. N1DQ importer. So, 
A lot of these aren't real stations, in my opinion. I mean, that's cool that you're going to put this stuff up, but, like, here's the thing. How, how many transmissions have I made? A lot. I'm running 10 watts. Let me update my map. Not real favorable conditions, but, you know, no, no, not a single reply. Like, literally just a huge waste of time. Sure, I could go here and call one of these other people that are on the list. But how come I can't call CQ and get answered? You know? But what's even worse is when you've got somebody in your own grid square calling at the same time. It really sucks. There's a couple of ass wipes over near the next town that run two stations at the same time from the same location. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but it looks like on one time slot, they're transmitting with one and then transmitting with another.